Hello all, welcome back to this course. In the last video, we learned about simulators and emulators. In this video, we are going to learn about jailbreaking, the different types of jailbreaking, how you can jailbreak an iOS device, and then I will be demonstrating of how and what actually are the steps in order to jailbreak an iOS device. So let's start. Jailbreaking. Jailbreaking is a use of privilege escalation exploit to remove software restrictions imposed by the manufacturer. It is done through a series of kernel patches. What jailbreaking actually does is it provides you the root access of the operating system. So let's say in iOS, you have the iOS operating system and without jailbreaking, you are not going to get the root access of the system. And once you get the root access of the system, you can perform any actions as a super user. In order to get this root access, you require to jailbreak an iOS device. Now, there are various types of jailbreaking. In total, there are four types of jailbreaking. The first one is untethered jailbreak. In untethered jailbreak, the kernel is patched without the help of the computer or an application. It is a very uncommon technique. So what happens in untethered jailbreak is that your jailbreak or your device gets jailbreak without the help of a computer or without the help of any third party application. This is a very rare and uncommon technique. Yes, there are certain jailbreaks which uses untethered way of jailbreaking. But again, this is very rare in such cases. Okay. The second one, the second one is the tethered jailbreak. Now tethered jailbreak is exactly the opposite of untethered jailbreak. Tethered jailbreak requires a computer device or an application in order to patch the kernel, okay? Without the computer or without a third party application, your iOS device won't be able to boot. That's what we call as tethered jailbreak. The third type is semi-tethered jailbreak. Semi-tethered jailbreak basically means that once your device is restarted, it can't go into its normal mode. That is the non-jailbreak mode. Okay, so your device can restart without the help of computer to go into the normal mode. However, it requires computer to patch the kernel or for jailbreak. For jailbreak. The last type is semi-untethered jailbreak. In semi-untethered jailbreak, the device can be restarted normally without the patch kernel and you do not require any computer or any application to patch the kernel or to perform a jailbreak. So these are the four types. Very quickly, untethered jailbreak, you require, you do not require a computer or application. It's a very uncommon technique. Tethered jailbreak, you require a application or a computer in order to patch the kernel or to perform the jailbreak or to get the root access. Third, semi-tethered. Semi-tethered basically means that your device can be rebooted without the help of computer. However, you require a computer or an application to patch the kernel or to get the jailbreak mode. Fourth, the semi-untethered, wherein your device can run normally without the patch kernel. It can be restarted normally without the patch kernel. And to patch the kernel, you do not require a computer. So these are the four types of jailbreak. Now let's understand how actually you can perform a jailbreak, a jailbreaking of an iOS device. So it's the demo time. So first of all, you have to identify which iOS version you are currently on to. Okay, so my device is currently running iOS 15.7.1. All I have to do is simply go on to Google. On to Google, I'm just going to check for iOS 15.7.1 jailbreak. Once I enter this, the first website which I'm going to find is of Pangu, pangu8.com. Now, let me tell you, pangu8.com is a very, very brilliant website. Okay, and it has all the methods listed of different types of jailbreaks which are available. Okay, so for example, let's say iOS 16.3 has come up. Pangu 8 will list down all the available methods of jailbreak for iOS 16.3. Okay, for iOS 16.2, for iOS 16.1 and so on and so forth. Now, there are two 
methods of jailbroking uh, jailbreaking okay so first one you can just visit pangu 8 uh website and you can check out which jailbreak method is available secondly there's a tool called as 3u tools we are going to learn about this tool in detail in the upcoming sections but just to give you a brief 3u tools is basically an automated jailbreak script okay it's a it's a toolkit for ios testing and ios actions okay so there's an option of jailbreaking all you have to do is go on to 3u tools and install uh, okay all you have to do is go on to 3u tools and you have to install 3u tools click on jailbreak and there will be available methods of jailbreaking so you can perform any one you want uh, we are going to go on to Pangu 8 and we are going to check one by one all the available methods which are listed for iOS 15.7.1. Okay, so you can see Xeon. We have the first method which is Xeon. Uh, it says that Xeon is the best and the most popular jailbreak solution for iOS 15. However, Xeon is a virtual jailbreak. Now, what's the difference between an actual jailbreak and a virtual jailbreak? Virtual jailbreaks are solutions that... Uh, that is going to give you a fake or a virtual third party application such as Cydia. Okay. It's not the actual or the real patched kernel, but it's just a virtual kernel. A virtual kernel. It's similar like uh, you are running a virtual container, okay, wherein you do not actually have the resources, but you can play with those resources. So it's a virtual jailbreak. There are other jailbreaks which are available. Now, the one which we are going to talk about is the Palerine jailbreak. Okay, so for iOS 15.7.1 up till iOS 16.3, Palerine jailbreak is considered to be one of the best jailbreaks. Okay, and this uses Checkm exploit, uh, an exploit which was found in the hardware of iOS devices and it's not yet resolved. Okay, up till iPhone 10, it has not been resolved. We are going to look at a detailed section of how you can use Palerine Jailbreak in a couple of minutes. Okay, so let me show you Palerine Jailbreak. We have Xena, we have Uncover Virtual. Again, these are just virtual jailbreaks. Shiorte Virtual, Checkrain Virtual. These are different types of virtual jailbreaks which are available. The one which we are going to talk about is the Palerine Jailbreak. So let's get started. 